it's very, very nice to see such a full room. Um, this is going to be a very informal session uh, just to welcome you to Alta. How many people here are actually at the conference for the first time? Excellent. Well done. Well, uh, welcome. It's very, very good to see you here. Um, my name is Bill Johnston. Uh, I'm a translator of Polish. I work at Indiana University. Um, I've been involved in Alta for a number of years, and um, I have found myself the face of Alta um, at these welcome sessions, for, for obvious reasons, I should say. Um, we are delighted that you're here, um, and this session is the information you can find mostly in the program, but we, um, we really wanted to uh, welcome you in person. Um, I think mainly because ALTA is a very particular kind of organization, and this is a particular kind of conference, and we wanted to, um, in a sense, set the, um, the mood from the beginning. Um, it's quite a small conference. I don't know exactly how many people are going to be here, but it's usually between about 200 and 300. But there's a very um, strong sense of community in our organization and um, at the conference. And we wanted, above all, to uh, let you know that um, this is a conference in which we all take part together, um, and you should feel um, absolutely welcome at all events, at, um, and also to kind of come and join us in the bar. I just like to say that. That's um, something which I can remember from my first Alta conferences, I was um, very uh, shy and um, a little withdrawn, and I didn't really, wasn't really sure if I belonged here or, or not. And um, over the years, I've found that this is a very welcoming place. The um, profession or occupation or art, uh, whatever you want, want to call it, literary translation, is um, a very particular one, and it, it's done by very particular people. Um, Luckily for us, <laughs> I, like, I like particular, I think it's a, but of course, as translators, we're going to argue over words like that. Um, but in, in any case, um, this is a very informal uh, conference. Um, it's a very informal uh, organization as well, um, and we really want to emphasize this. We've, um, often described ourselves as the opposite of MLA. Um, if anybody's in the MLA, I'm sorry, and if you're not, don't tell them. Um, the MLA is, is very large. We are very small. Um, the MLA is very uh, stressful. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, the, the, um, as, you, as you walk the halls at an MLA convention, you'll notice those young people in, all dressed in, in suits and in their finery. Um, incredibly anxious about interviews. We don't typically do that here, um, perhaps because there aren't many jobs in literary translation. <laughs> I should not have started that sentence. Anyway, um, the, the point is that um, we do have a, an informal way here. Typically, um, the, in the panels, we don't read papers. We talk them through. Um, we like to leave time for discussion. We encourage uh, questions. We encourage comments. We encourage feedback. Um, we're very much focused on the craft of translation, on the activity of translation. Um, over the years, notions of, of uh, theory, conceptual ideas, have come into many of the panels, and I think that's a good thing. But by and large, we are here to talk about the um, the, the simple work of sitting down and um, putting a text from one language into another. Um, and we found uh, over many, many years that that is best done in an atmosphere of uh, conversation, collaboration, um, and an atmosphere which encourages participation from everyone who's here. Now, I also want to stress that, that we have translators of every level of uh, expertise and experience here. People who have done dozens and dozens of books, people who, have, who are just um, dipping their toe in this vast ocean of translation work. 
Um, we want you all to feel welcome. Um, the conference is, is very diverse in terms of age and where people are from and languages. Um, and uh, the more we can hear and learn from you and you from us, the better things will be. Um, in a moment, I'll be introducing one or two specific people, but I, I really want to encourage you that if you um, see somebody you would like to talk to, go and talk to them. Um, we all have our name tags. I don't have mine because I arrived too late and I, I wasn't able to register, but I'm Bill, so you, you know that now. Um, <laughs> I did pre-register, but I, I didn't get here in time for the... Um, there are two signs downstairs, and they say one of them says it's this way, and one of them says it's that way. I was very confused, I have to say. <laughs> the, the semiotics are, are overwhelming. Anyway, that's who I am, and I will get my name tag. But um, everyone in the organization is approachable. If you see somebody who translates from the language that you translate from, or simply whose name you know from a book uh, that you've read, um, just go up and say hello. Um, everyone always appreciates that. Um, I want to en encourage you uh, specifically to um, make the best of the conference while you're here. There's a great diversity of events here. We have the panels, and the panels themselves are um, amazingly diverse. They cover all kinds of different languages, genres, you'll see. Um, really, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful program um, this year. But not only that, we... Uh, several years ago, many years ago actually, um, the translators here decided that because we like actually working, we also like sharing our work. Um, and the bilingual readings um, were born in that way. Um, they've continued. You'll see in the program there's an incredibly rich array of uh, readings in that series. Please go and attend them. This is a way that we have of sharing our work with one another at this venue. Um, I encourage you, for the same reason, by the way, to check out the book exhibit. Um, those of you who um, don't live in a city that's, that's uh, blessed with a good bookstore will know that the kinds of books that we're talking about, the kinds of publications we're talking about, are not often widely available. And this book exhibit gathers together a lot of books that you will probably not find in your local bookstore, many of them by... Um, translators, translated by translators here at the conference. So please um, make good use of that. Uh, we also have a number of other events. Um, we uh, have the ALTA Fellows program. Uh, do we have our fellows here? Congratulations. Um, well done. It's great to have you here, and uh, we look forward to the um, reading. Many of these events, as you'll have realized, that, like the, the fellows reading, are um, whole conference events. And this is another reason why, at a smaller conference like this, and a more intimate one, we can actually come together and all experience the same thing. Um, so we have the fellows reading. We have the, um, the NTA award, which is this evening. Russell, is that right? And a reading by the uh, translators from the long list tomorrow. We have the Declamation. Um, is anybody here qualified to speak about that? I'm not really. Marion. Um, so I'm looking forward to this year's. 
Um, and there's rules about you can't recite your own poetry or your own translations. No, you can do your own translation. You can do your own translation. Okay. But the main thing is you have to have memorized it. So uh, things deteriorate towards the end. The <laughs> remember nursery rhymes and and songs that they learned sometime when they were children. Um, but it is quite wonderful and, and often very beautiful. So I highly recommend that if you're available mm -hmm. on a Friday night. Um, it's worth staying up for and and um, even you know they need an audience too. <laughs> you don't have to. Thanks very much. Um, we also have a special bilingual reading that's called Cafe Latino, which is taking place um, tonight. Thank you. Um, all of this information is in the program, but I, I want to emphasize that people actually go to stuff. Um, <laughs> and that is actually why we come to the conference, um, which also distinguishes it from many other conferences that um, we may have attended. Um, so um, at this point, I wanted to um, introduce some of the uh, luminaries, dare I say, of the organization. People um, on. Uh, sure. Many of us here, or some of us here, are publishers all the time. And we are constantly interested in talking about the, the new people, the work they're doing or going on for possible things. Um, uh, a lot of projects actually have been born here. Mm -hmm. A lot of publications have come out of here, sometimes not immediately. But I think it's very important that, that you sort of talk and meet the people and buttonhole people that way. Good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Cage, is that for sure? Thank you. Yeah, notice he doesn't have a name tab either, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that story. Um, well, so let's, um, let's perhaps begin by introducing our um, board. Um, first of all, we have Russell Valentino, who is the president of Alta. Um, and to my great uh, fortune, my colleague at Indiana University. Who else is on the board here? Can you stand up if you're not already standing up and say who you are? It starts to feel a little like North Korea at times. <laughs> okay, Sybil. Sybil and Forrester, I'm also the president of the board. I wanted to say, we were talking over here about why you don't put the yeah. languages yeah. on the name tag, but it's a good pickup line. It's a fantastic song. <laughs> Am I forgetting anything? I mean, I'm almost certainly forgetting something. I don't know. What do you think, Mary? Yeah. Are we forgetting anything? Or anything? No, no, what to do, I know, yeah, but just like an oh, oh, actual oh, yeah. information. Yeah, it's not. Yes, Jim. The other thing I would say to new people is, if you haven't discovered this already, that you will be set upon by us who are older. You will be incorporated and included, and don't bunch together and hide from us. <laughs> 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 but really, I mean, the mix, we are eager not to be cliquish with our old people who have been around for a while, but to include and mix and match, and we, we need you actually participate. 
is keeping us out and jumping on us too. Thank you. Yeah, that's a very good point. Well, it, this might be a good moment. Um, I think we have enough time to do very, very quick um, introductions all around. Um, and uh, this is also a moment where you might begin to make connections between uh, with, with other translators uh, working in the same areas, you the same genre, same language, whatever. Um, if you just want to say your name, language, any other bit of information um, that you would like to provide, given that we have a, a fairly full room. I think we can do this, though, because I think we are good at being lapidary in our work. Um, do you want to begin over here? Okay. Um, I'm Rose. Uh, I translate from Yiddish. Um, I'm currently translating an Anki novel. Anki is a book that's in Yiddish, just like the Yiddish. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Over here. My name is Nedle. I translate from English into Russian and I came here from Moscow. I live in Russia. And my most famous and most beloved book is Eat, Shoots, and Lives from Lives <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. My name is Michael Holtman. I'm the director of the Center for the Art of Translation and Two Lines Press in San Francisco. Uh, you'll see my colleagues Olivia Sears, Scott Esposito, and Barbara Paschke. Uh, they're kind of our team. Uh, but uh, I'm not a translator myself, although I do have bits and pieces of several languages. But I look forward to hearing about your work during this conference. Thanks. Okay. I'm Meg I'm um, This is my first conference. And I translate from Catalan and Spanish. And you can tell. I'm Louise Fuller, and I translate from French uh, with a particular in, uh, interest in uh, French Canadian literature. Thank you. Uh, my name is Sean Bai. I translate from Polish, uh, and I'm also the head of literature programming at the Polish Cultural Institute in New York. Cool. I'm Julia. I translate from Spanish, Portuguese, French, and Catalan, and I live in New York. Thank you. Hi, I'm Derek Matter, and I translate Turkish poetry, and I'm an MFA candidate poetry at the University of Wisconsin Madison. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's go over here now. <laughs> My name is Yvette Seeger. I come from New York, and I translate <coughs> Spanish and German, and currently I'm working on the collective works of Alejandro Pesanto. Okay. I always want to sit next to you. <laughs> it's your personal magnetism. Um, my name is Kanan Morse. I translate from Chinese. Um, I, uh, with a group of other people, uh, founded a magazine called Pathlight New Chinese Writing um, and worked with a company called Paper, a group called Paper Republic, which introduces Chinese literature to the world uh, with, along with City. Um, I translate poetry as well as fiction, working on a book for Jeffrey Yang at New York Review of Books now. Cool. Thank you very much. Mary, I'm going to go over here. I'm Mary Schwartz. I translate Russian. Um, I have a new anagram and a translation out. It's in the book exhibit, and I'm working on social media. Cool. Okay. So, in Forrester, I already introduced myself. I translate from Russian, Serbian, and Croatian. Hi, my name is Sima. Um, I'm from Vancouver, but I'm doing a PhD program in the University of Ottawa in translation studies. Uh, my field of translation is from Persian to English, and especially to Canadian fiction, Canadian English. Thank you. My name is Jacob Sebring, and I'm a French to English translator. I'm currently working on a work by Pierre Sanche, a contemporary French author. That's a kind of a historical novel, let's say. Cool, thank you. Christina Kramer, I translate from the Macedonian, and I'm looking for an app so I can find the other ones of you in the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the app. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I'm currently translating um, two things that 
that is summoned by Luan Scarosa called Path of the Eels, translated from the Macedonian with reference to his Albanian, and um, A Spare Light by Lydia Dinkowska, which is one of last year's winners of European Thank you. I'm Sandy Kingery. I, I translate from Spanish prose and poetry to English. Thanks. I'm Jean Garani. I translate from French, and I'm finishing up a novel right now called Leper Boy by Danya Piki. Thank you. I'm Cindy Carter. I translate from the Chinese and dabble a bit in Japanese manga. Um, for the last 17 years, I've been living as a freelancer, working as a freelance translator in China. I do fiction, poetry, and a lot of indie films. So if you're interested in Chinese indie films, please talk to me. <laughs> Thanks very much. Let's go over here. Can we go around this table here? Start with Aaron, maybe? I'm Aaron Aji. I translate from Turkish. Thank you. My name is Suzanne. I'm from Milwaukee, but I've been living in Spain for the last 18 years. Uh, I translate from Spanish. <laughs> I'll be participating in a bilingual reading uh, with my first uh, literary translation tomorrow and this afternoon. Excellent. Congratulations. I'm Taj Reckenthaler. I'm from Milwaukee also, and I, I translate from Spanish and Portuguese. Thank you. Um, I'm Dustin Lovett. I'm from St. Louis. I was actually a fellow in 2010, but have not been able to get back since, so this is close enough to my first time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now I'm working on a book uh, from uh, Olga Martinova. I'm looking for a publisher, so if any of the publishers are interested in experimental German fiction, uh, I have you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vince Quinn, and I'm from Philadelphia, and I'm glad to be part of this app because it's my first time here. I translate from German, specifically Austrian authors mostly, and right now I'm working on Dolderus novel, the Schroederhochschläge for New York Review Books. Cool. I'm Jeff Howes, I'm from Bowling Green, Ohio. I translate from German, and I also specialize in Austrian. What's the chances of that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the app. They, they work really well. <laughs> it's the Macedonian. <laughs> And um, I'm pretty sure that the, my translator's copies of my translation of Robert Mosel's Three Women are arriving in Bowling Green right now. Not, no. not quite in time for the no. no. <laughs> I'm Jill Timbers. I translate from Finnish, and I got hooked on Alta back in the 80s. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zev Dokkerup. I'm from Amsterdam, and I translate between Dutch, Yiddish, and French. Thank you. Can we go across the back wall now? Maybe start over there. Yeah, my name is Caroline. I'm a student at um, Grinnell College, um, and I translate from German. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sarah Kaplan. I translate from Spanish. I'm from Spain, and I translate from Spanish. I'm Ellen Elias Borsak. I live in Boston and I translate from Bosnian, Croatian, and Serbian, and I'm a contributing editor to two <coughs> asymptote journals. Okay. My name is Mary Jane White. I'm from Iowa. I have an MFA in poetry from the Writers' Workshop. And I'm a double NDA fellow in poetry and translation. I translate from Ines Vitsaiva, and I'm going to try to translate from Icelandic and uh, Arabic. So I'm working on an Arabic novel and a book of Icelandic poetry, both of which are based on true crime. And my day job is as a trial attorney. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mubarak Sriki. I'm in Serbia also. I translate from and to English, French, and Arabic. And I have two translations already out there. Hi, Sibeli. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maria Feli. Um, I translate from Spanish into English. Um, I'm also from Milwaukee, but I'm currently um, incorporating my translations into my dissertation that I'm finishing at UNC Chapel Hill. Thank you. Uh, my name is Max Zaluski. I'm originally from Madison, Wisconsin. But for the last five years, I've lived in Damascus, Barcelona, Aleppo, uh, Granada, Cairo, and Addison. And um, I translate from Arabic, Spanish, and Portuguese. I've come to the city. I'm Gary Reese, originally from New Brunswick, New Jersey. I've been just to be past 
Vice President, I'm a review editor for Translation Review. I'm a translator from Spanish with a special interest in meter and rhyme. Thank you. Can we go to this table here now? but if you call me in person, you can call me Nate. Um, I translate mainly from German, Spanish, and Catalan. My current project is a novel called Fortune by the poet Parajin Perec. Thank you. Alexander Dickow, I translate uh, principally from French to English, although I've done a few in the other direction. And if anyone knows how I can get uh, uh, Seuss Enterprises to publish my translation of the Lorax into French, I'll <laughs> <laughs> help do that. <laughs> Thank you. I translate from the Russian, but I'm on a theorist these days, doing a PhD on uh, translation and new media. Okay, okay. I'm Spencer Santos. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Iowa, also an MFA student in the Rome's MFA in translation program at there. I translate primarily from Old English, Early Middle English, Spanish, Old and Modern, and Icelandic, and I also go the other way with Spanish. So. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Nick. Um, I'm a PhD student at uh, Penn State, um, and I translate from Turkish and Kurdish. Thank you. Hi, I'm Christiana Hills. I translate from French into English um, with a special interest in experimental prose, um, and I'm currently a PhD student at Binghamton University in translation studies. Right. Thank you. I'm Sarah Norwich. I'm coming from Queens. Uh, I'm a fellow, and I translate from Croatian and Bosnian. Thank okay. you. Hi, Tenzin Dickey. You can call me Dickey, and I translate from the Tibetan into uh, English, and uh, mostly I'm doing contemporary Tibetan poetry right now. Both oh, fellows. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Annie Tucker. I'm the third fellow in the row, and um, I translate from the Indonesian. Just finished my first novel and working on um, some short stories, culinary themed short stories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Ladies at the back now. Um, I'm Antonia Jones. I translate from Polish into English, and I'm one of the tiny British contingent here. Um, Fake Americans standing there. I accuse you if you're British person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's turned his back on us. And, 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 uh, I translate a lot of different things, um, including fiction, lots of reportage, children's books, some poetry. Um, and um, I'm going to be co chairing the UK Translators Association from next year with Mickey Harmon. So that's also part of why I'm here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Annalisa Fernandez, and I translate from Portuguese and Spanish to English, and I'm a, a student in translation at UWM. Thank you. Let's go to this table. Some, let's begin. Russell, you must start. Oh, well, we'll go. <laughs> yeah, please. That's good. Uh, I'm Rachel Wilson Broyles. I translate Swedish to English, and I am the secretary treasurer of a small group called Swedish Translators in North America. Cool. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ima Gillespie. I'm originally from Belfast, but I live in London. I am a poet and a novelist and co-founder of a group called It Prasis, so a group of poets <coughs> who go into the National Art Galleries and uh, work with exhibitions there to produce collections of poetry. I'm currently a PhD candidate at the University of Kent, and I am one-third of the way through of translating uh, Dante's Commedia. Wow. <laughs> Armin Mortimer, I translate from French. I'm retired from the University of Illinois as a professor of French literature. I've been working uh, very steadily on novels by Philippe Solaux. I have translated three of his novels and three of his essay books. Uh, one of those is published. And I'm also working on a very experimental novelist named Véronique, Véronique Taquin, and would look, love to find a publisher for that. <laughs> I'm Lily Foyerla, uh, originally from Brooklyn, but now from Portland, Oregon. And I translate German to English. Thank you. Russell? Russell Valentino. I'm the author president, which you can see from all of these things that are just hacked on the wrong path. Next year we're going to go with epilepsy. I'm Joe's colleague at Indiana University at Penn State from Russian, uh, Italian, and um, Bosnian creation surgery. 
I'm Laura Sanfranco Egrin and I'm originally from Uruguay, but I'm uh, in CU Boulder right now doing a PhD in Spanish and Portuguese. And I translate from Spanish and Portuguese, and right now I'm working on a translation of one of the poetry books by the Brazilian author, um, Luga Hirschi. I'm Catherine Jago. Um, I'm originally from Britain, but I've been living in Madison, Wisconsin for several decades. Um, I'm a poet and a freelance translator, and I translate from Spanish and Catalan into English. And um, I have been to a altar before, I think about 25 years ago, but I found it so terrifying that I came back. So <laughs> <laughs> Listen to her! <laughs> Good morning and thank you for your patience. My name is Michael Meggs. I'm from Austin, Texas. I translate from Swedish, uh, Spanish, and French, and I operate a website that's dedicated to theater in Central Texas, uh, specifically Austin and San Antonio. Thank you. To the gentleman over there, did you introduce yourself? Yeah. You did, good, okay. Let's go to this table here, and I think. I'm yeah. Alison Shred, again a board member. I translate from French with uh, an interest in fiction from Madagascar. And for those who came late, I'm just going to say I also run a an online listserv called the Emerging Literary Translators Network in America um, support group online. So if you're interested, you can talk. Jim Cates, mostly French and Russian, and Zephyr Press. And by a rough count, there are four people in this room who have books published by Zephyr Press. <laughs> I'm Jeff Barnett. I'm writing the center, so I don't know. Sorry if I have to. Uh, I'm from Washington Lee University. Uh, I don't translate from Spanish, rather from Cuban, which is a little bit, you know, like a few nuances. Uh, this thing I keep carrying around with me is my newborn infant that just came out this, about two days ago, which is okay, it's not my first one. So if you see me, you know, holding it tightly, tell me to please loosen my grip. <laughs> uh, thank you, it's good to be here. Congratulations. My name is Eddie Song. Um, I translate from English to Chinese. I've uh, translated Philip uh, Roth, John Le Carre, um, Jonathan Brandon, Andy Crew, and Stephen King, Dan Brown. So. Wow. <laughs> My name is Gabriel Saxon Ruiz. Uh, I translate from Spanish, um, mainly uh, contemporary Peruvian literature. Uh, that's been my, my uh, latest projects, and I teach at the University of Wisconsin. This is kind of warm for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Snyder, um, I translate contemporary Japanese fiction and I teach at Middlebury College and as of July 1st, I find myself in the strange position of being dean of our 11 summer language school. Oh, cool. oh, right. 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 Translation is completely forbidden because it's right. a, right. a language right. <laughs> self-project which, which, which I hope will help me is to introduce translation. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> right. I think we have one newcomer. <laughs> I'm, Lee. I'm Rachel Tapley. Um, I am a PhD candidate at the University of Wisconsin Madison, and I translate from French and English. Thank you. So now you know everyone. <laughs> um, that's it. If you have uh, questions, please um, don't hesitate to ask me, Russell, any of the board members, any of the um, more uh, experienced altar goers, we would um, love to talk to you. Please do come and introduce yourselves one more time. Um, come to the sessions, come to the readings, come to the events, um, enjoy yourselves. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Civil and thank you. Yeah, you have this one. So this this is sorry. Um I think it's if we go down one floor down these uh, the sort of two stairs here.